Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel. I am your Catalan Studio Instructor and my name is Kumaresh. Thank you for connecting with us. Hope you are doing well. Let's start our today's session. Today, we are going to learn how to capture test object in Catalan Studion. To understand this better, we will also discuss the overview of object repository, usage of object spy for web application, and capture objects from the test application to create object repository in Catalan Studio. Object repository is the collection of objects which represent the fields of the application. This is the most important features of Catalan Studio to perform test automation. The object repository is used to map the applications with the tool to perform any action such as click, enter data, read properties etc. The tool uses predefined properties that can uniquely represent any test objects of the application which are stored in object repository. For example, SPATH, CSS, ID, these are the common properties used to represent any object. Let us see one example. Object repository has the different hierarchy based on the application architecture. Like, page, frame, test object etc. In this particular example, page underscore Kura healthcare service is the page object and couple of field objects are defined within it. Each of the individual object has the option to choose the selection method from the details section. Three options are available's path, attribute, CSS and image. In this example, we have chosen path property. Based on the selection, the selected locator section contains the actual property used to identify the field object and object's path sections contains all the available properties. The object spy tool is used to capture the test objects from the application and save it as an object repository. We will now demonstrate how to capture objects from multiple web pages and store it into an object repository. We will use the sample web application, https colon slash slash catalone-demo-cura.herokuapp.com, for this demo. Let's start now. To open the object spy for web application we need to click on the option web spy, which is available on header section. We will now enter the URL for the test application. For demo, we will keep as it is. Click on down arrow button beside start to open the menu to choose the appropriate browser. Navigate the desired object, make appointment in the application and right click on it. Select the capture object option to load this object into object spy wizard. Double click on the newly captured object to show object properties and selected locator. By default, XPath has been chosen. Click on verify and highlight button to cross check the correctness of the captured object. If required, we can change the selected properties to make it more robust. After clicking on save button, different option for display name and path of the object repository should be appear. Click on OK button to proceed with object repository creation. Now, click on make a point button in the application to proceed to next page. Similarly, we will now capture object's username, password and login button. Once all the three objects are captured, objects will be available in Captured Objects section. 
we can cross-check the objects by clicking on Verify and Highlight button. Click on Save button now. Here, the object A underscore make appointment is showing in red font as it's presently not available current web page. So, no need to worry for this. Only the newly captured three objects will be added to the existing repository. Click on OK to complete save. Now, manually enter the valid username as John Doe and password as this is not a password, which are shown above in the application. Click on login button to proceed into the make appointment page. We will only capture the web element make appointment object from this screen. This object can be used for page verification purpose later. We can verify the newly created object from object spy screen. The another button, add screenshot, allow us to store the current application screenshot into the object repository for future reference. Now, we will save the objects in object repository. After saving, we will close the object spy wizard as all the desired objects are captured. The newly created object repository and the objects are now available in the tests explorer section under the test artifact object repository. We can view the details by double clicking on any of the captured objects. The selected locator can be modified from the details section of the objects. Thanks for watching this video. That's all about capture objects through Object Spy in Catalan Studio. We will learn more about test automation artifacts in upcoming videos. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domain. You can check our other website as well. We have features like YouTube Trends, Twitter Trends, Scientific Calculator and many more other tools. If you like our video, please like, comment and share. If you have any questions, please comment and we will resolve your query.